Welcome to our Wednesday night service right here in our living room. And we are so excited that you have chose to be with us tonight. We've um, been having these services right here for a couple of months now. And uh, I love doing this. It's just an intimate time that we have um, created in our home. And I believe it just permeates right here in our house. And um, we're so glad that you are with us. Don't forget to please go and like it, share it, tell somebody, and so they can hear what the Word of God is, is saying through this media tonight. I'm glad to have you here with me, too. I'm glad to be here with you. I'd hate to be here without you. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> And I, I think that's what some of this has been about, you know, this quarantining thing. We've gotten to know family and each other so much better. And I trust all of you are well this evening. At least it's evening for us right now. Um, but we are, are so glad that you have tuned in. And as Yolanda said, why don't you reach out to somebody and let them know yes. that uh, Pastor Joseph and Yolanda and Chaz Bosarge are on tonight. And it's going to be a great evening. Yes, We're going to... Is. Just uh, allow the Spirit of the Lord to touch our hearts. And as Yolanda said, just to permeate the atmosphere and, and fill up your room wherever you are. Or you're, maybe you're uh, in a hospital watching today. I hope not. But if you are, wherever you are, uh, we just trust that you are blessed by uh, what transpires here today. And Yolanda, you've got some um, product over there. We might want to talk about a little about that. And we're glad to have Chaz, Minister Chaz Bosarge with us this evening. Greet them, if you will. I'm glad to be here and looking forward uh, to the word being shared tonight. I know it's going to touch somebody's heart. And uh, I just pray that what you're doing and what we're doing here tonight accomplishes the goal that the Lord has intended for it to do. Amen. Absolutely. And you know, with that being said, I want to say this. Man, we received such a moving, um, I guess it'd be a message, wasn't it? Uh, off a of messenger on Facebook, is that right? Am I saying it right? Uh, it was just such a, a real moving um, message that was sent to us, you, you, and, you and I, Yolanda, and, and of course Chaz as well, because he's been working with us on this. But thank you so much for the kind words and how that uh, this is making a, a big difference in your life. Thank you so much for sharing. That makes us feel yes. like we're doing some good because that's what this is about, uh, is, is to be able to touch your heart, touch your life, so true. And, and see God come into uh, fruition in whatever area of your life it is that you're believing God for, spiritually, physically, financially. If you're like some of the rest of it, it's all three. And so, uh, and speaking of financially, thank you so much also for supporting this ministry. And uh, it'll be on the screen there uh, where and how, as to how rather you can, um, can contribute. Some of you have asked about how you can make a, a contribution. And by the way, it is tax deductible. And so thank you for those of you that have sent in gifts. Even yesterday, someone sent in a $100 gift on Cash App. You know, and was and I was blessing wanna, this ministry. And yes, thank you. and I want to say thank you to our church. Yes, yes. The members of Celebration of Absolutely. Life Church for you that have been so faithful, so faithful, and um, and continue with your tithe and offerings. And um, because, you know, uh, we haven't been able to be in our building a whole lot. But uh, thank okay. God that you have been faithful, and we appreciate that. And I know God does. And you know, Yolanda, I want to say this, and I want to go down on record saying this, that God has kept us through this pandemic, this COVID-19 thing that we've experienced, all of us have experienced. Yes. God has been so good to He's us, Yolanda. So good to he us. has blessed us and kept us financially. Yes, he, has. he has kept us physically. Yes, he has. He has kept us spiritually. That's not to say we haven't had some bumps in the road, if you will. But man, I just want to say that God has caused us He's to triumph, so even during a lean season. Yes, 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 yes. And I just declare that over you and your yes. loved ones and, and, and wherever you are and whatever's going on in your life that maybe is coming against you. We just speak against that thing and declare that God will intercept that situation and intervene in your life. 
I love what the word of God says. He said he would supply all of our According need. to what? His, his riches. Ooh, and I love His that. glory. His glory. And his grace all and his goodness. And I love what David said. He said, surely mm -hmm. goodness and mercy. and mercy will follow me all, all the, days the days of my life. That's not only my promise and your promise and Chad's promise. That's your promise. Absolutely. Yes, it Absolutely. is. Well, we've got these products and we've talked about them. And so we want you to go on our website, jymorganministries.com. Or you can call the church or you can go on celebrationoflife.com mm -hmm. and order these products. And this is my husband's quotes and principles for living, which is an amazing devotion that devotional that you can use every day of your life. It has a scripture, then it has some quotes, and then it has a place where you can write your own personal notes. So you need to check this out and make sure you have it in your library. And you know, and I want to say this. I am very grateful yes. because, you know, like your book has been used in some, some uh, well, people who uh, are teaching have yes. ordered these books yes, sir. and passed them out to their students. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I love the fact that this book here as well, this devotional, um, has been a, a tremendous blessing. I know that in some of the ministries like Genesis and different people that have used this. And, and so I'm grateful. This is a nice little devotional yes, that you can is. use. And this book here that you're getting ready to talk about, most people, in fact, just the other night, we had somebody that got this book, and they, 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 they said, we read it. I read it through the night. I could not yes. put it down. You, you really have to have this book here. It's how to stand in the gap in, and remain sane when someone you love is addicted. And um, I remember you were talking about this book being used. I was actually at a conference, speaking at a conference in Tampa. I will never forget it. And if you don't need it, you may know someone, somebody that does. And I know some of the ladies in the conference could not afford the book. And I had a man walk in the door and he said, I want to buy every book she's got. And he so that every woman will go home with one of these books in their library. Well, Yolanda, it's such a, this book is, and, and I'm interrupting you on purpose here, if you don't mind, but this book here is not just a book of, of, of a story, but it has so much guidance and direction yes. for people that are dealing with uh, a loved one that is an addict or struggling. It's just a great book to give some wisdom and impart some wisdom. I'm very proud of it. Um, very, very proud of it. And then this is um, also our CD. It's J.Y. Morgan Ministries and my husband. And I, actually, the song we're going to sing tonight, uh, well, you and I sat right here in this living room and wrote it. Chaz was just asking me, he said, did y'all write that song? And we said, I told him, yes. But we sat right here and wrote that song because it was so, a song that really we felt that needed to be out where people could understand mm -hmm. when you just some some people just keep coming to the altar and coming to the altar and giving their heart but there comes a time when you are so desperate before God and you say you know I'm tired of, of coming here I'm done so th tonight I'm giving you everything, my yeah. total heart. Well, you know, the Bible talks about those who try or attempt to serve the Lord with a divided yes. heart. Yes, yes. Half-hearted, mm -hmm. a divided heart. Yes. And that's what this song obviously is about, total heart. Yes, it is. And then we have one more book before we sing. This is Charles's book, or Chaz. I keep it calling him Charles because he's still Charles to me. But this is Chaz Bosarge, and he wrote this book. And it's Sunday morning, and you can actually go on his website and get it. It's chazbosarge at gmail.com. You want to get this book. It is a great, great book. Great things are happening with it, and we're so proud to know him. Mm -hmm. We're so proud that do we, we have do we have your CD anywhere? We don't. We got to get that you know. CD yes, so we can we uh, make it available. And tell them right. about that. The two it's called Two Brothers. Is that right? Two Brothers Run to You. Run to it's You. It's available on Spotify, Amazon. <clears throat> you know, you can order it online. Great, great project yes. and great singers. Derwin plays piano and sings on it, yeah. and he's such a tremendous gift yes, he himself. Is. Right. And so it's awesome. Okay. So we got some product here for you. And, uh, and, and by the way, thank you for purchasing and supporting us with product, and, and we're grateful for that. So, Yolanda, you want to sing? I'm going to hand you this book and let you put it over All there, right. and we're just going to go into this. Let's do it. And remember, let somebody know. Let somebody know that we're on right now, 
And uh, somebody needs a word. Somebody needs some inspiration. Absolutely. I hope you enjoy this song. God bless. <clears throat> so many people that want to blame other people for not where they are mm -hmm. or where they are or not where they are and well, we're not being where they would love thank to be. you that, that helped that helped me out there a little bit <laughs> but uh but you know you just you take ownership and just say god here i am standing in need and you see all my faults and failures and I just give you my heart. Like David said, give me a clean heart, oh God. Yes. Yolanda, I want to pray for some people right now. We, we are, we're this, there is no agenda. We don't have anything particular we're going by. We want to be spirit-led, as we have mentioned so many times. And um, I, I just I want to pray for some people. We, I got a phone call. I was talking to a young man yesterday, and I was asking about his dad. And he said his dad is not doing well. Yes. Uh, such great people, Christians, believers, strong believers, and uh, and said, I said, well, what's wrong with dad? And he told me, and he's really not that old of a man, but he told me uh, that he has a brain tumor and it is uh, a stage four cancer. And so I told him that we would, would take his dad to prayer and uh, they run a great business here in Nashville, yes. done some things for us, and... Um, you know, I just want to pray for them, and and there's so many others that that 
are in desperate need. We've got some friends that are that are fighting uh, in faith right now. Yes, I was on they are. the phone just uh, earlier this week about another situation. I don't want to disclose names and what have you, but but just some serious needs. Yes. And and why not pray that God would deliver these people oh, yes. during this time yes. and that that God would give them a major breakthrough. You know, the lady with the issue of blood said these words. She said, you know, she said, if I can just, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just t touch the, you know, the hem of the garment is the saturation point. I want you to think about this, the saturation point. In the Old Testament, the Bible talks about how that the oil is poured out upon the head and then it, 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 as it trickles down and runs down, it, it pours into the beard, Aaron's beard, which has to do with, with pre priesthood in, in the ministry. And as it, as, it, as it moves from the head and through the beard, and, and the scripture says, and it goes down. And he said, it, in fact, he said it's like the, the dew that is up on Mount Hermon. Yeah. And as it descends, notice this, this is so powerful. He says, as it moves its way from the, the top of the mountain, the snow, as the snow caps, as they start to melt, and it starts trickling down the mountain, mm -hmm. and then it goes into the valleys. Yeah. And he says, you know, and it starts watering and brings about fruition and vegetation. And, and so, you know, such a, Man, I feel the presence of the Lord. It's such a so powerful, true. powerful analogy in the scripture, that saturation point where when she said, if, if I could just get to the saturation point, if I can just get to the hem of his garment, yeah. and I love what she declared. She said, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know that I shall be made whole. And you know, she had been that way for 12 years. And you would probably think in your mind, you know, she'd probably have given up by now. But that determination of being made whole. And talk about that, Glenn, because you know what? There's some people right now yes. that, that, you know, when you're, you, and I'm talking to somebody right now, that when you get caught up, listen, when you get caught up in the heat of things and the heat of battle, uh, you know, it's easy for somebody else to preach to you. It's yeah. easy for mm -hmm. us to talk to you. It's true. Uh, but when you're in the throes of a situation, you're in the heat of battle, and, and, and you know, man, the enemy just seems like the, he is relentless, relentless and will not let up. And I love what you're talking about. If we can just get a hold of that that determination. Tenacity. Just another, yes. if I can say it this way, another uh, a bit of faith yes. to try again. Mm -hmm. Because, and you notice I said another bit of faith, just a little faith, because Jesus said, if you just can get a hold of some faith, just even the faith of a mustard, mustard seed, seed, of a mustard seed. And, I'm, and, and we're talking to somebody right now. And Chaz, I want you just to just break into this thing because we're flowing here yes. tonight. I want this to be a, we are determined. We've talked about this yes, before we we've have. come on. We want this to be a flow of the anointing. We're not interested in just coming in here and sing a song and, and give you some mechanical sermon or whatever. I'm not interested in that. Mm -mm. But I want to, I just want somebody to be ministered to this so evening. True. And so for you, and I feel this so strong, if you will just reach out right now, if you will just extend your hand as an act of faith and say, you know what, I'm touching the hem of his garment right now. And then just declare those words, I know that I will be made whole. It is not over. I'm talking to you. It is not over. I don't care how bleak and how bad and what the, you know, what the report is. You know, it doesn't matter what the prognosis is, what the x-rays are saying. We believe a God and we serve a God yes, that is not just capable. Absolutely is capable. But he is a God that will. Yes. He is a God that is moved by so our infirmities and, and our sicknesses and our situations and whatever it is. He's a God of feeling. Sometimes I think that people view God as if he is something out there that's so detached and so, so far intangible that, that, you know, but God can be touched and God can be moved. The scripture even talks about that we shouldn't grieve the Holy Spirit. Well, you know what that tells me? 
that if you can grieve the Holy Spirit, that he's got feelings, yes, that he can be touched, he can Absolutely. be moved. Absolutely. And so Absolutely. God is in charge yes, right now. Is. Talk to us. Well, you know, Get in that mic. about the uh, woman with the issue of blood, what predicated her coming to Jesus is that she had spent all her living That's what it was. trying to get healed. And she had exhausted every option available to her. What I love about our relationship with the Lord is that though he was a last option, he was not insulted by that. Mm -mm. Because her desperation spoke for itself. And then her faith, somehow her faith ignited after years of disappointment. It's a wonder she had any faith left. That's what I'm saying. But after years of disappointment, That's so good. she still had faith. Mm -hmm. If I could can just. touch. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you going to touch him? There's a crowd around him. And that's what they said. I'm going to press my way through. Mm -hmm. Pastor, if we don't have determination, that's... we'll never get oh, what hallelujah. we need from God. Hallelujah. That is so true. Wow. That is so true. And, you know, mm. I, I, we are living witness of what God can do, not only this mm -hmm. woman here, but we have been in places in our lives. You know, people look at us and they say, man, they just got it together. They never had a problem in their <laughs> life. Well, you know, Yolanda, Rick, <laughs> one of our great friends, we love him so dearly, and it's Rick Hawkins, yeah. Bishop Rick Hawkins. You know, he has, in fact, if you don't have his book, you need to get his book. It's, it's entitled, I think, The Wall, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he's so, what I appreciate about his book is he's so transparent so and open. So transparent. And he lets us know and, and, and actually just opens the door and says, come on into my life and mm -hmm. come into my heart. And man, when you read that book, you, and I appreciate people who are real, who yes. are authentic. Yes. And will let you know where they are. And, and 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 he talks about you know the wall and and you know you're talking about that somebody right now is against a wall i believe that somebody that. right now you feel like man mm -hmm. i am just mm -hmm. against the wall there is no way out yes listen god will always he will always provide a way of escape I'm telling you, when it looks like you are so trapped, when you are so hemmed in, God always, do you hear me? God always has another move for you. He can provide and will provide a way of escape. Yes, He will. He we makes have, a way. You know, there are people that have been so discouraged, and I'm probably talking to someone here tonight, and the words keep coming to me, I'm done. It's over. My life is over. I've suffered so much. My Amen. children are out there and, and acting crazy and my marriage is in a wreck. But let me just tell you, we serve a God. I'm a living witness of it. This man on the keyboard is a living witness of it. My husband, we have walked through situations yes. where we thought, God, where are you? L like Job did. He said, I looked to the north, south, east, and west. He said, I can't find can't you. can't find you, God. I cannot find you. God is just a prayer away. And you can't give up and say, I'm done. Because you may be on the brink of something so great and so miraculous. Right now, this moment, you need to stand up and thank God. Thank Him that He allows you to walk through the times in our life to have a testimony at the end of those trials. And so I'm, we're speaking to someone here tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, Yolanda, you and I talked about this, and we even shared it with you, Chaz, early today. I got up this morning and found this scripture, and I remember it from years ago. And it had been a long time since I had visited this passage, but in, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3, the Apostle Paul talks about, and he, he's actually... He's actually admonishing the um, believers and Christians uh, of Corinth. Yes. And, and he says, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here, but, but it's really close to what he's saying. He says, you know, I, I, I fear that you are becoming corrupted mm -hmm. from the simplicity of the gospel. I want you to think about that. Because there was so much going on. The mm -hmm. Judaism, mm -hmm. the laws, the, the rituals. I mean, there was so much. And 
he says these words. He said, I, you're becoming corrupted from, notice the word from, which has to yeah. do with a separation. Right. You're separating yourselves from the simple or simplicity of the gospel. Well, what is the gospel? We know the gospel to be what? Good, Good news. news. Right. Jesus said it. He said, you know, the spirit of the Lord is up on me, and he hath anointed me. Preach. To preach mm. what? Good tidings. The good tidings, the yes. good news. Yes. Absolutely. Deliverance, mm -hmm. healing, sight to the blind, yeah. opening deaf ears, you know, healing people that need deliverance that that are very sick and diseased. And I love the fact that he stayed with his calling. He stayed in his element. And what Paul is writing about is simply this. Don't, you know, it's so easy, Lynn, and I've shared this with you. The last thing I want is for me to taint something as sacred as the gospel. Yeah. That's right. The gospel is sweet. The yes, gospel is. is pure. And yes, I understand we have to address issues and political issues, and we do that. But I don't ever want the gospel, the no. good news, the simple, simple mm -hmm. gospel of deliverance and healing and salvation. Don't ever want to get that, and this is a strong word, but polluted or contaminated so with with my view politically. Yes. So I'm I'm encouraging you. Let's let's love our neighbor. Yes. Let's edify. Paul said, "Let everything be done unto edification. Build up. Yes. Build up. Yes. And this is a time for us as born again believers and Christians to come together and be strong." Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. I just want to leave you with that word. And Yolanda, you've got a song. That, yes, we do. That, let's just sing an old song. I know we've only got I mean, we got a, a couple of minutes here, and 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 we're going to go out with this song. And and if we got a couple of minutes, we'll come back or, or a few seconds, whatever. But thank you again. Thank you again. Thank Please you. hit the share button. Somebody needs this this evening. Somebody needs this 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 song. This message. God bless you, Yolanda. You're going to sing. What are you? What are I'm going to do it. Falling in love with Jesus, I'm falling in love with Jesus, falling in love with Jesus. Is the best thing I've ever, ever done. Let's sing it, Jazz. Let's sing it with her. Mm, I'm falling in love with Jesus. I'm falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever, ever done. We love you. We're going to keep singing this on the way out. God bless you. Be blessed. Keep your head on straight. Stay focused. Yes. The best, I believe, and Keep I declare this, is yet to come Amen. in your life. We love you. Amen. Falling in love with Jesus. I'm falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever, ever done. God bless.